Good morning, dear students. Welcome to the science class. Today, we begin a new lesson, Chapter 6, Physical and Chemical Changes. Every day, you come across many changes in your surroundings. These changes may involve one or more substances. For example, your mother may ask you to dissolve sugar in water to make a cold drink. Making a sugar solution is a change. Similarly, setting curd from milk is a change. Some days milk becomes sore. Soaring your milk is a change. Stretched rubber band also represents a change. Dear students, in this chapter, we shall perform some activities and study the nature of these changes. Broadly, all these changes are of two kinds, physical and chemical changes. So there are two kinds, physical and chemical changes. Let us see physical changes. We are going for an activity. Cut a piece of paper in four square pieces. Cut each square piece further into four square pieces. Lay these pieces on the floor or a table so that the pieces acquire the shape of the original piece of paper. You can see here. Obviously, you cannot join the pieces by to make the original piece. But is there a change in the property of the paper? So we can say there is no change in the property of paper. So we can say change is only a physical. That means only change in size. Another activity, collect the chalk dust lying on the floor near the blackboard in your classroom. Or crush a small piece of chalk into dust. Then afterwards, add a little water to the dust to make a paste. Roll it into the shape of a piece of chalk. Let it dry. Did you recover chalk from the dust? See, so you are collecting the chalk dust from the floor or crushing a small piece of chalk into dust and afterwards we are adding a little water to, the, the, to this chalk dust in order to make a paste and roll it into the shape of piece of chalk. And after drying, the question is, did you recover chalk from the dust? Yes, chalk forms again. So the conclusion is, change is only physical and only change in size. The third activity, take some ice in a glass or plastic tumbler. Melt a small portion of ice by placing the tumbler in the sun. You have now a mixture of ice and water. Now place the tumbler in a freezing mixture. Does the water become solid ice once again? Yes, water changes form. That means the change of state occurs. So here also we can say change is only physical from solid to liquid state. So another activity, boil some water in a container. Do you see the steam rising from the surface of water? Hold an inverter pan by its handle over the steam at some distance from the boiling water. You are boiling some water in a container and hold an inverter pan by its handle over the steam at some distance from the boiling water. Observe the inner surface of the pan. Do you see any droplet of water there? Here also you can see the water changes from liquid to gas and back to liquid. So change is only physical from liquid to gas and from gas to liquid state. Another activity, hold a used hacksaw blade with a pair of tongs. Keep the tip of the free end of the flame. Keep the tip of the free end on the flame of a gas stove. Wait for a few minutes. Does the color of the tip of the blade change? You can see the color of the blade changes. Remove the blade from the flame. Observe the tip once again after some time. Does it get back its original color? Yes. Color gets back to normal. Here also you can see change is only physical change in color. So in activity 6.1 and 6.2, the first and second activities, you saw that paper and a piece of chalk underwent changes in size. And in activity 6.3 and 6.4, 
water changed its state from solid to liquid or from gas to liquid. And in this activity 6.5, the high saw blade changed the color or heating. So now you can define what is physical change. Properties such as shape, size, color, and state of a substance are called physical properties. A change in which a substance undergoes a change in its physical properties is called a physical change. A change in which a substance undergoes a change in its physical properties is called a physical change. So only the physical property of the substance is changed. A physical change is generally reversible. In such a change, no new substance is formed. So this is called physical change. Let us see some of the examples of physical change. Crushing a can, melting an ice cube, boiling water, mixing sand and water, breaking a glass, dissolving sugar and water, shredding paper, chopping wood. These are the examples of physical changes. Dear students, this is all for today's class. Hope you all have understood it.